Today I am going to tell you all about a blockchain project named Polygon and where the price may be headed. Here is what I am going to cover in this video. What is Polygon? What is the price of Matic and where can you get it? And lastly, Matic price prediction. Polygon, previously known as a Matic network, is a protocol and a framework for building and connecting Ethereum-compatible blockchain networks. Aggregating scalable solutions on Ethereum supporting a multi-chain Ethereum ecosystem. Polygon combines the best of Ethereum and sovereign blockchains into a full-fledged multi-chain system. Polygon solves pain points associated with blockchains, like high gas fees and slow speeds, without sacrificing on security. This multi-chain system is akin to other ones such as Polkadot, Cosmos, Avalanche etc., but with at least three major upsides. It is able to fully benefit from Ethereum's network effects. It is inherently more secure. It is more open and powerful. There are also limitations to using Ethereum as the blockchain development platform, such as low throughput. Since there is no parallel processing in Ethereum mining, the throughput is currently capped at around 15 transactions per second in the public network. The gas fee and block finalization is also annoying for users. And with no sovereignty there is a clogging risk, security issues, governance dependence, which can lead to the blockchain going in a bad direction. According to Polygon many projects are exploring Ethereum-compatible blockchains as a way to mitigate these limitations while still leveraging Ethereum's thriving ecosystem. However, there is no specialized framework to build such blockchains nor a protocol to connect them. This introduces significant development challenges and causes ecosystem fragmentation. Polygon's solution for developers is a protocol and a framework for building and connecting Ethereum-compatible blockchain networks. And with Polygon developers can utilize one-click deployment of preset blockchain networks. Growing set of modules for developing custom networks. Interoperability protocol for exchanging arbitrary messages with Ethereum and other blockchain networks. Modular and optional security as a service. Adapter modules for enabling interoperability for existing blockchain networks. And here you can see the solutions that they have created and some that are in development. You have the SDK for building a Ethereum-compatible blockchain network. The Matic Proof-of-Stake chain, an Ethereum virtual machine-compatible sidechain, which is secure by a permissionless set of proof-of-stake validators and checkpoints submitted to Ethereum. Matic Plasma is a fully functional scalable plasma implementation powered by custom application-specific predicates. And on the screen you can see the big differences between the POS chain and Plasma. And some upcoming features are the ZK rollups, optimistic rollups, standalone sidechain and shared security chain. Rollups move computation and state storage off-chain, but keep some data per transaction on-chain to improve efficiency. They use a whole host of fancy compression tricks to replace data with computation wherever possible. The result is a system where scalability is still limited by the data bandwidth of the underlying blockchain, but at a very favorable ratio, whereas an Ethereum base layer ERC-20 token transfer costs approximately 45,000 gas, an ERC-20 token transfer in a rollups takes up 16 bytes of on-chain space and costs under 300 gas, and on the screen you can see the difference between ZK and optimistic rollups. Standalone chains are sovereign Ethereum sidechain that are secured by their own set of validators and optionally connected to Ethereum via bridges. These networks are fully in charge of their own security, i.e. have their own pool of validators. Standalone chains offer the highest level of independence and flexibility, with the trade-offs of sometimes challenging validator pool establishing. 
Shared security chains the service can be provided either by Ethereum directly, via fraud proofs or validity proofs, or by a pool of professional validators, similar to Polkadot's shared security. Secured chains offer high level of security, with the trade-off of sacrificing a portion of independence and flexibility. If we take a quick look at the architecture, we have the Ethereum layer, security layer, Polygon Networks layer, and execution layer. In the Ethereum layer Polygon uses Ethereum to host and execute any mission-critical component of their logic. This layer is implemented as a set of Ethereum smart contracts, in charge of functions like finality or checkpointing, staking, dispute resolving between networks, and message relaying. The security layer is a conditional layer that manages the set of validators responsible for the security and verification of blockchains. It can work both in parallel with the Ethereum blockchain, Meta blockchain, and on Ethereum, in which case the Ethereum miners perform the validation. The Polygon network layer is a collection of sovereign blockchain networks that maintain functions like transaction collation, consensus, and block production. The networks can utilize Polygon protocol to connect with each other and exchange arbitrary messages. Lastly, the execution layer. This layer interprets and executes transactions that are agreed upon and included in Polygon Network's blockchains. It consists of two sublayers, these being the execution environment used for pluggable virtual machine implementation and execution logic, which can be used to state the transition function of a specific Polygon network, normally written as Ethereum smart contracts. Compared to other alternatives Polygon offers more features as well as freedom and flexibility for its developers to build anything they want. To sum up everything you can do with Polygon, you have Ethereum network compatibility, scalability, security, sovereignty, interoperability, better user experience because of transaction finality and low fees, developer experience and modularity. Now let's take a look at the projects that have implemented the Polygon framework and protocol. As you can see there is pretty much anything from DeFi platforms, DAOs, and NFT gaming to business to business projects. With that being said let's take a look at the price of the Matic token. Currently the price of Matic sits around $1.80 with a market cap of $11 billion and a circulating supply of 6 billion Matic out of the 10 billion in total. As for exchanges, you can get Matic on the major ones like Binance and Coinbase, and if you sign up to Binance using my link you can save some money on the fees, but if you want even lower fees you can use FTX, and if you sign up with my link you get 5% of your fees back. So where is the price headed? As of now we have an all-time high of $2.70, and right now the price of Bitcoin is trading sideways, so unless we break $41,000 on Bitcoin, and at least $2 on Matic, I would be very cautious about buying. As for where the price is headed I think $50 is realistic, although it may take some time. This project is similar to Polkadot when it comes to Layer 2 Ethereum blockchain solutions, and therefore they should one day be competing head-to-head. -head. As for a longer-term price target I see $100 as possibility. If you consider how many projects are using the Polygon protocol and their framework, I wouldn't call it impossible. As for resistance levels we have $2, $2.40 .40 and the $2.70 high. The one-figure psychological resistance levels are the the 50 cent and $1 areas, and as you can see from the price it will likely pull back before. As for when we break $10, we will have major resistance at the psychological $5 and $10 areas. That's all I have for today's video, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, do your own research, practice good risk management and once again, I am not a financial advisor. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.